Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome to another edition of What's in the Bag, Jay? This is where I take six movies out of my collection that I've never seen, write their names on a piece of paper, throw them in a bag, draw one out at random, and do a short review. Then I take my Freddy vs. Jason die, see what we come up with, and find out what comes back next week. Now... For the returning movies, we have The Last Lovecraft, Relic of Cthulhu. Take that and throw it in the bag. We have Never Cry Werewolf, which was requested. We have Stripperland, which was also requested. We have The Endless, which made it from last week. And our new entries this week... Death Day, brand new movie. If this wins, I'll tell you a funny story about it. And finally, The School. Now, this was requested by um, Andrew Ballina. He said this is an Australian film. So, give the bag a good tussle. Let's see what we come up with. The Endless. So I'm going to take that and set it aside. Put all of these other movies side by side. By side. Get my cup. Put my Freddy vs. Jason die in there. Give it a good roll. Five. <laughs> so that means... They all stay. Death Day, The School, The Last Lovecraft, Relic of Cthulhu, Never Cry a Werewolf, and Stripperland. All stay till next week. Now, I'm going to go watch The Endless and come back with a short review. Later. Well, I'm back. I just watched The Endless. And here are my thoughts. The Endless is a 2017 film which runs approximately 111 minutes and is directed by Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. Now, of course, they were responsible for a movie called Resolution, which I will be getting into shortly. The movie Spring, which I absolutely loved, um, very good love story, monster tale, kind of, all kind of genres in one sort of film. And VHS Viral. And this was, they were both responsible for the section Bone Storm, which was my favorite, and I know is a lot of other people's favorite as well. Now, they play themselves in this film. <laughs> they play Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. They play brothers who escaped from a cult. Not really doing that well on the outside, they decide to go back because the one brother, Aaron, just isn't feeling it on the outside and he basically misses his friends at the cult. His big brother doesn't want to go back, but decides that maybe his little brother needs that in order to have closure. So, they go back to the cult. And, while the cult is not as creepy as I've seen other cults portrayed in movies, it's still a cult. <laughs> and there's a lot of weirdness that ensues from there. That's basically all I'm going to get into um, yeah, it's a little hard to explain. It's one of those movies that you have to actually watch it in order to 
understand it. Now, this is where our resolution comes into it. I'm watching this movie three quarters of the way through, and I see these two guys in this house. One of them is chained to the wall. The other one is basically keeping, keeping him there until he uh, gets sober. I was like, wait a minute, these look like the two guys from Resolution. Well, it is the two guys from Resolution, and it basically has a part in this story, which I thought was really neat. Um, can't really tell you how it fits in, because it'll give a lot of the plot away, but um, it just made me take a double take, and I had to actually look it up, and it was like... If this isn't resolution, then somebody's really going to get um, sued for copyright infringement. <clears throat> now, the two actors, or the two directors acted in the film to cut costs for the budget. The overhead shots were filmed using a drone. I thought that was pretty cool. And the song, The House of the Rising Sun is used in the film because it is part of the public domain and it was also to cut costs so i thought that was pretty interesting uh, now this movie um unfortunately it is a bit like resolution it kind of leaves more questions than answers than yeah than the actual answers that you're looking for get answered um do I recommend it? It's acted very well. It's filmed very well. The story is very interesting. But it just kind of left me meh. That's about as much as I can say for it. Uh, will I watch it again? Maybe, someday. I would like to actually watch Resolution again. Because I did enjoy that, even though that is very much like The Endless, where it leaves more questions than you get answers. But, you know, to watch these, I think, back-to-back -back might help a little bit, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, definitely vote for your favorite that, actually, they all made it back this week, so what am I saying? Yeah, let me know if you've seen The Endless, and what are your thoughts on it? And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.